Hey guys, um, we're back. It's James, you know. Before the video starts, again, you know, just <laughs> last video did very good. I'm just happy. Thank you guys. I mean, <laughs> oh no, I mean, my channel is doing good right now, I guess. We're going slowly, but we're doing good. I mean, let's look at this. If you like the stuff you see and want to support me, just watch, watch the whole video, okay? Because. <laughs> What is this, bro? And you know, like, to and subscribe, and yeah, let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone, it's tier time. <laughs> okay, last video. Well, yeah, last video, I did a weapon tier list, and I said I would do a legend tier list. So let's get into it. And before you say anything, you know, this this must be on my opinion and how a legend does, like on solo and on a team. So. You know, if you see some stuff, just don't get triggered, alright? Yeah, let's get into it. So, first... Oh, I guess it's the Horizon, then. We have Horizon, okay. Okay, bro. <laughs> this is the easiest S tier. Horizon's passive is legit one of my favorite passives in the game. Because it, it's so fun to use. I'm, bro, I'm literally a console player, and I, I can do so much stuff for, for Horizon's movement. It's fun. Her tactical. AKA her Q to PC players are um it's pretty good. Lifts you up in the air, goes very high. It's like for uh passive you take no you don't have uh what's it called? You don't get stopped when you fall from high 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 places, yeah. Ultimate black hole, it's pretty good. Um I don't is there anything else to do? Actually I think I'm all, yeah I know what to do. Hold on, we we, we do this. So I just had to fix my audio real quick. I had to make sure, you know, I'm not too low because people told me that music is like a little too loud because I'm not talking too high. So yeah. Next we have Ash, which is the latest legend into uh, Maggie, but she's not even out in the game yet. But uh, where I, I think Ash, in my opinion, is a uh, A tier. Like like Ash is really good. Her passive. Let's see death boxes from like uh, around the whole map. Let's you see who killed them. You can track them off that. Her her tactical the uh, arc snare is really good too. Uh, tutters. I can't say that word. Tutters. I was like tutters. <laughs> it just binds enemies and they can't move. It also does like 20 damage. It's good. It has a lot of range and her uh, ultimate the uh, phase breach is really good too. She just tele she teleport like Wraith, make a portal. Now this now the difference between Ash and Rafe is Rafe has the the teleport like always. Like that, that's like the best thing in the game for solo without a doubt. Ash doesn't. Ash is still good for solo though. She's really good. But in arenas and stuff, she's not good. I mean who who plays arenas actually like come on but Yeah. Yeah, let's do Octane next, yeah. Now Octane, just like Horizon, easy S tier. Octane also has one of the best passives in the game, it's simply because he automatically regenerates health. That's not in the game. His tactical with a stim, it's really good too. You get a speed boost, you can cancel any slow effects of it. Like if you get stunned, pop a stim, you're gonna go. It takes your health, I think like 20, but you, like, you auto regen, so there's really no. There's not there's no downside for it. His ultimate the uh, launch I say launch pad. <laughs> His jump pad is good. It keeps to reposition. It's it's really good. Yeah, it has good distance. Well not no more, because they, they stay nerfing Octane. Because he's too broken. And what else? That's it. It's a fun character to use. Tap shaping on jump pads is like the best thing ever. Octane's like the second best solo legend in my opinion, or if not, second, third, top three at least. I put them. I'll leave like this for now. Next up. Uh... Hmm. Let's do Watson. Watson, in my opinion, I. I think she's an. 
average legend dab fest. Like, there really isn't, there really isn't much you can do with Watson. Like, her uh, place I was just defending buildings. That's it. Like, if you're like in in an open place or something, her she's really useless. I mean, her ultimate is really good too, because the on mag on mag shields blocks any grenades, anything. Her passive is good too. I'm um, actually regenerate shields, but it's not like octanes. She can carry two ultimate accelerants. Uh, she gets an ultimate instantly with them. That's about it. Like I said, I have her here because if you, if you're in a building, like you're like in a building fight, Watson is like the one of the best legends in the game for that. Because you know, fighting Watson is so annoying because of the fences. But like if you're out in the open, like I don't know, like in a random field, she can't really do much besides place her ultimate. Maybe so she needs cover because you can just destroy it. So B tier, I guess. Sorry, Watson. Gibraltar. Oh, <laughs> oh I think we all know this guy's this guy's going right. There's no argument, right? There's no argument about this, right? Yeah. This red bro it is the AOGS king. Okay, so Gibraltar. His passive is gun shield. He has like, it's it takes 50 percent HP or 50 percent 50 damage for it to break. Oh, what else? He has fortified. He, he seems to give these big, bigger than the rest of legends. So he has a uh, damage reduction because his size. He, he doesn't get slowed by bullets. What else? His side cool the dome, which is really good. That's like the our best side cool game. No one could uh, beat it besides Maggie and uh, Crypto, but so far it's only Crypto because Maggie's not in the game yet. Still, so. um, his ultimate defensive bombardment is also good too. Good for pushing. You can you can stack it off his dome. Good for thirsting people. Well, th yeah, getting kills in general it's good. Being offensive, defensive, it's good in anything. I think giving stuff the best here definitely. Ram for it. Ooh. So Ram for I think top of B tier maybe or like in between B and A, so like I'll leave her like top of B tier. Ram for it, just like Watson. She's good for defending buildings. Well no not nah, what is it? Not like that. She use her things anywhere it's like Watson but okay okay in uh, short, short words if, if you play Ramford you're playing Fortnite that's literally it alright <laughs> she has the walls which uh yeah her defensive walls which is really good your guns do like I think four like ten percent more damage something like that when you shoot through the walls uh it takes good damage her ultimate Sheila is like, oh my god, she could now use it without having to place it down, and she goes to place it down, and when it's placed down, I just said that word three times, you have infinite ammo, like, oh my god, she's so broken, but like, there's so much counters around there too, like, if you're not playing Rampart good, just like Crypto, you're, you're not gonna see her full potential, yeah, Rampart, it's good, but not, not, not S tier, okay? Oh, so her um, passive, I think, modded loader, what's going on? It's like, where it is. When using LMZ, she, she reloads faster and holds more ammo with them, so, yeah. Love me, LMZ. <laughs> uh, Valk. Valk is a, oh my god. If you watch the AMGS or like anything, like tournaments in general, you will see these two together like always it, yo, it's funny so Valkyrie her passive is a jetpack like a li literal jetpack you can fly around her tactical she has missiles that, that does like 25 each I think the, the, the drops like 35 because there's multiple not just one her ultimate is in my opinion the best in the game because you know why you can fly away from enemies like legit fly away like you redeploy, basically. And you know what you can do? You put down a dome next to Valkyrie, and you just fly out there. That's the easiest escape. It's also good because it has good height. You now when Valkyrie's in the sky, her passive, you can scan enemies, like no matter who they are. 
So, ja, ist auch so gönn. Moving on up. Still Bangalore. Shout out to my boy Shiv. So, I think Bangalore is easier. Definitely. Bangalore is really good. I mean, she's about as balanced as I as it gets, I think. But like her kit, it's still really good no matter what. So her, so her passive double time, if you're getting shot and you don't get hit, you run faster, like way faster. Her tactical smoke grenade. Wait, self explanatory. It's just a smoke a smoke grenade. It's really thick. That's okay. That's just, you didn't hear nothing, but it's really thick and it's hard to see. Unless you can silhouette it. Well, like, I don't know how to do that, so. <laughs> no, our ultimate, uh, what's. What's it called? I don't know the name of it. I'm trying to. Oh, creep, Creeping Barrage, yeah. It's like Gibby's, but it covers more land and takes like about three seconds for it to actually blow up. It has the same effect to Gibby. When it hits you, it slows you down, it blinds you. Well, it blinds you. Your vision gets blurred. And. As well, it does good damage. It's really good for defending and uh, attacking. Just like give you. Next up, uh... oh man, my main, my boy Crypto. Now, Crypto, I could say he's an S tier because Crypto. Like people don't know how good this man is, but if you're talking about like new players or something like that. Which solo, Crypto is not a good legend. I, I don't think Crypto is the worst legend for solo right now. Before before he gets his uh, drone buff, which is like literally tomorrow. But as as of today, well right now, he is the worst solo legend. You literally go AFK to use his drone. You can't move. You can't do nothing. What else? In general, we can't do it. I mean, his ultimate is really good. Is the EMP? You uh, is a joint EMP. You uh, wait, hit enemies for 50 on shields. Destroys all traps and anything inside buildings and stuns the enemies. That's about it. it has a really good uh radius, I guess. This is like Sears Ultimate. It's really good. Like, people sleep on crypto so much, but it, crypto is really, really good. So, I think I put him um, right here. Yeah, I think this is uh, good for crypto. Definitely. He's not a B tier le legend or anything. Like, oh my god, bro. I, I love my crypto mains. <laughs> Moving on. Revenant. Revenant? I say the top of B tier. Just like, yeah. I think he's he, he gonna be A tier, but Re Revenant? So it's passive, he, he climbs faster and higher. He, when crouching, you, you, have, you make less noise. I think you make no noise in general and he can move faster. His static with a silence bomb. It uh, does damage. And uh, whoever you hit with it, the enemies can't use their abilities. So that means no passives, no nothing. Like, like Valk. Get, getting hit by a silence bomb as Valk is like the funniest thing. He can't fly no more. Uh, his ultimate, hit the death totem, is really good too. Another really good ultimate. Basically, you get a free push on enemies. And it's basically, yeah. Like, you can't die with it. Well, that's the destroy it, then you just, yeah, get bodied. I say B tier is good for Revenant. I mean, you can make them work. Yeah. I had to put them A tier. Yeah. Cause my, the, the Revenant mains out there will, will get mad at me. Like, meh. Next is Blue Funda. So, Bloodhound is another. So, in my opinion, there is no bad legend in the game. So, you hear me say good legend? Yeah, because there is no bad legend. Depends how you play the legend, it will make some, you know, good or bad. Bloodhound is. I, I, I want to say the best scan legend in the game, but. Then we have C or. We're, we're, we'll talk about C later. Bloodhound is up in S tier, though, without a doubt. Right? Yeah, that's a good right there. 
Because Bloodhound, his scan, has so much ri Well, yeah, Bloodhound's scan has so much range. Uh, Bloodhound's passive lets you see enemy, like, enemy clues. Like, for example, uh, like, if an enemy ran past an area or opened the door, you could, you could ping it for your team and you could track them down with it. Like, it's really good. His ultimate, Beast of the Hunt, your vision goes black and it goes black and white or just gray, whatever you call it. Enemies are highlighted in red. Your scan has like a three second cooldown. You move. I, I don't know how fast you get. You get a really good speed boost. You, you're the fastest character in the game with it on. What else? That's about it. He's a really good legend. Bloodhound. <laughs> the people who play him bad. Oh my god. Sometimes this game can be bad, but it's not the worst. Hmm. Fusey. So, Fuse is... Right here. Right. Nah. I'm doing this, I don't even care what you say. Fuse is better than Revenant. I don't care what you say. Well. It's even. I, in my opinion, it's more even. Like, defense. Huh, what type of playstyle you are, you like you do, but it is leave it like that for now. Fuse is passive, uh, Grenader lets you hold two, wait, no, I think, oh yeah, two grenades of each slot. It means you hold two Arc Stars, two uh, Thermites, and two uh, Frags. What else? He also throws grenades farther and faster, and, and believe me, it, it's not lying about that. You can really stick someone from across the map with Fuse's passive with Arc Star. What else? His tactical Knuckle Cluster is really good. It's a cluster bomb that does that splits into like a billion pieces. It does like I think like five or ten damage. And like it doesn't do a lot of damage, but like it hits so many times, like you you get hit like hard, but you won't even notice it because you, you think it'll do no damage. It's good. Especially that guy's buff that it's increased by like by 100 percent so, as a fuse is ultimate, the mother load is also. It, it's alright, I guess. Depends how you use it. It's like, most of the time, it's so easy to dodge it. Like, it's so bad sometimes. It's a ring of fire. Uh, enemies that are trapped in it are highlighted. If you get burned by the fire, you get slowed, and that's about it. And, and it has a burning effect. What do you do? It's, it also has a lot of range if you don't know. That thing's a whole sniper because I don't know why, but yeah. Alexander Nox, aka Caustic. Caustic, of course, has two. I mean, there's really no hope. These three right here, this is the team setup. If you know, you know. Like, well. It's always these three. If, if it's not Caustic, oh no, Caustic. If it's not Gibby or someone, it's either Crypto. Thank you, bro. Or I'm saying, I mean, it could be anyone to be honest. But like, usually, you see these three together most of the time. Caustic is, uh, I think he's the best defensive legend in the game, in my opinion. So, his passive, which is, I think, Nox Vision, lets him. So he has gas, gas traps, and when you shoot, when they go off, or by shooting them, or an enemy like actually runs by him and it goes off, he can see in the gas. And that doesn't sound good, but honestly, it's more broken than it sounds. Like if you're like in a building or something, like you just see, like all you see is gas, like like just calm, which constantly can mean sees everything. It's good. What else? Like, enemies are also highlighted who, who are in the gas. The guys does like five damage and then it starts going up to like I think ten. Remember ten. Every time you get hit by it, it does ten each. It's really good. His tactical. His ultimate the Nox Gas Grenade is uh another good one too. It's it's just tactical, but like in a grenade form, instant detonation. I think it lasts longer. It's just really good. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. Good for pushing too. Good for defending. You can use caustic uh, like traps out in the open to give yourself some cover with the gas because they can't really see you in it unless you, unless you get lucky and you shoot through them with it. Yeah. Caustic is uh, alright, so a legend though, I guess. 
Lifeline. Lifeline's a good legend, see. Um, Lifeline or Love? Yeah. Depends how you play Lifeline, but Lifeline is basically the only healer in the game. Her uh, tactical lets you revive units with her, her drone, Dark, and he's doing anything. Her tactical is the Dark, <laughs> Dark Healing Drone, which is uh, it just gives you health. Like, it gives you a lot of health, really. It's really good for like fight, getting back in fights. Like, if you play arenas, Lifeline is like the best legend in it, without a doubt. You put the East like, Gold Backpack of Lifeline, you are not gonna die. Like, oh my god. Her ultimate is just a care package. G gives you, uh, just like, a free care package, but it's not like a regular one. But it always has an uh, upgrade of for your team. There can be armor, attachments, health, shields. It always comes in clutch. Lifeline's a really good clutch legend, in my opinion. Like, people don't really play her that much, but she's good. And if, if you have a really good lifeline player, you should not worry about dying. Yeah. My boy OB, aka Seer. Now, when Seer came out in season 10, this guy was so broken. His shadow had so much range, it did damage, a little, little flashbang. What else? That's about it. So, Seer, his, uh,. Okay, Warzone players, ready for this one? His Sadical is a heartbeat sensor. Literally, a heartbeat sensor. If you play Warzone, you know. <laughs> you know, bro. But, basically, I, I don't know how to explain it if I'm saying Warzone. Like, you can see enemies' heartbeats on the map. Like, if you ADS, like, you will get, like, you will see them on your. The black like circle. And you will see them on it. Oh, so when you get closer, you, you hear a heartbeat, so you know it's dumb. His sadical focus of attention is good. Probably the best skin ability in the game. It cancels healing, cancels revives, silences, has good range, and lasts long. It's really easy to hit, too. Like, you could do it, you cycle off his heartbeat sensor. It's. Wow, it seems pretty good. Even, even after his nerf, his big nerf, Seer is still a really good legend. I think, I think people sleep on him. Too much. His ultimate exhibit is really good. You do on like a uh, your heart. I know it sounds funny. And it uh, basically makes like a a circle. Like crypto is drone. Is the MP. Enemies who are running in it will be highlighted. It will tell you that they're in it. And it's really good for like knowing where if you have enemies around you or not. And I think Seer is the best scan. Is the best recon legend. That scan. Why did you say about? But like. That actually has a scan for a solo because the heartbeat sensor. Right? Like, just do a full 360 and you're good. That's it. Moving on. Top 4. Mirage. I mean, in my opinion, Mirage is a beta legend. I mean, there really isn't, there really isn't much you can do with Mirage other than like just bamboozling people. It's, uh, it's passive when you revive people. You go invisible, and when you're resurrect, when you're raising someone at a respawn beacon, you go invisible. It's good. Like you literally go invisible. His uh, tactical, which is a decoy, you got like a fake version of yourself, and if enemies shoot it, they'll get uh, ping on the map, and yeah, you know where they at. His ultimate, life with the party, is still one of the hardest ultimates for me in the game because I can't find the real mirage. I end up dying, so I just run away. <laughs> He just basically throws like a whole bunch of uh, decoys. He goes invisible for like one second, and he does, and all of his uh, decoys come out. And it's hard to tell because they all act the same, so you, you don't know which one is the real one unless you pay good attention to Mirage. Not much of a beautiful skin, like I said. So it's sad, but he needs his buff, I guess. Loba, the only, the second support legend in the game. Loba is. Also, uh, hmm, dang, I would have a Loba Buff, wasn't it, I mean, Loba Buff Crypto, I'll leave Loba right here, yeah, so, 
Her passive lets you see uh, purple and higher rarity items to walls. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Yep. Her tactical, which is the I think, burglar's best friend, whatever it's called, yeah. lets you uh, you throw a bracelet. Oh, I can't jump drive. Uh, I find this burglar's best friend. <laughs> well, I don't even know. I'm getting mixed up. You, you throw a jump drive, which is called. You throw it. It goes like it's a bracelet. You throw it. It goes like I think like 75 or 80 meters max. And when it lands, you try to port to the location where it's at. It's, it's it sounds stupid, but it's not bad. I and mean, it was super clunky back like in season eight and stuff. Well, that's why I came back to Apex. And, like I literally have a fr uh, friend who makes Nova, and like I used to see them miss like a jump drive fell so many times because it was so bad. Like in season nine when she got her buff, it was she she doing better, really good. Her cycle is more more uh, usable now. Her past I mean not past her ultimate is so good too. Like that is like the the. Uh, tide turning ultimate. So ultimate is the black market. So when she throws on like a mini, I don't even know what it is. Like a thing, it opens up, and they can steal items from your nearby area. That'd be, that'd be care package weapons, uh, armor, ammo, weapons, grenades, heals, anything you name it. You have infinite ammo on that thing. Like you just, you only you probably take up to two items. And, like I said, ammo doesn't count, but. Yo, her ultimate is really good. Remember, she's she's a support legend, and for a support legend, that is a really good ultimate, a really really good one. Next, oh, our last two S tier legends. Let's do Pathfinder first. Now, I don't really pay, play Pathfinder much because I suck at them, and probably because I'm going to. <laughs> but his grapple is really good. It's, 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 it's the grapple gun, the, the grappling hook. Uh, you can use it to go high, go to places, to escape. You get good movement with it after, like if you pop, like you slide. You can tap shape with it. Ooh, tap shape, by the way. I want to cry, but it's good. It's passive. Insider knowledge is, uh, lets you get your ultimate when you scan a survey beacon. Yeah, it's kind of bad. I mean, it's, it's alright, but he needs to rework on that passive. That's it. Uh, his ultimate, the zipline. He he can deploy uh, a zipline at any time. And that's about it. It's easy to do a lot of things. Escape, push. It's good. What? Oh. Now, last but not least, Wraith. Wraith, in my opinion, is the best solo legend in the game. Her tactical, her passive, and her ultimate is so good. Uh, her tactical, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it, but, uh, basically, if you're getting, you know if you're, like, in danger or something, if you're getting aimed at, she would tell you you're getting aimed at, if you're, if you're getting aimed by a sniper, you get an audio cue, if you're, uh, like, in a hot zone, you get an audio cue, if there's traps, you get an audio cue, like, like, she lets you know, like, if you're good or not, you know, and then, uh, her tactical, which is the phase, you literally go invincible and invisible for like two seconds. Uh, that doesn't sound a lot, but you can do so much in that time. You get you get a uh, speed boost, like a small speed boost. Her super glides in her tactical is really good too. That's about it. Now her ultimate, the portal, is also really good too. Use the uh, reposition and. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, uh, there's like an insta queue with it. And, uh, that's the video. It's the tier list, then. Ho hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later.